Hello everyone, how are you guys doing tonight? Today, where are we from in this beautiful world? Uh, welcome to another Beer and Cheese Tuesday. For those that don't know what this is and are tuning in, it is uh, a beer and cheese pairing um, hour. Um, we do have a every second week of the month, we do an open alcohol and cheese. So that'll be coming up next week and we'll, uh, re I'll repeat that again at the end of the show. But um so this week is beer and cheese, and I want to welcome uh, Bumpy here, Bumpy Isms. Um, cheers, cheers, Bumpy. Cheers. And, uh, cheerios. And cheers. Yeah, cheerios. Um, so yeah, we uh, may have some more people up. Who knows? But it's always cool, uh, even with you and I. Um, gives us more time to talk it out and think about things and take your time and uh, really get into it. So. All right, so cheers to the chat as well when they show up. We had two watching now, so. All right, let's go ahead and bring up, uh, we're going to do show and tell first. We'll bring up uh, Bumpy. All right. Cool. So since I figured we might have some extra time, I didn't even take my cheese out of the package yet. I may have already done this cheese. I'm pretty sure that I've had it at some point. Um, it's Sartori. I've done, I don't know, the, they have the black bag one, the red, and then this green one. I think there's a blue one, too. Um, so I'm not sure if I've done the green one or not, but it's the farmhouse cheddar. Uh, it says it's an extra sharp and rich. Um, it's a cheddar masterpiece inspired by our dedicated local family farms. It's proudly uh, Wisconsin. Uh, Satori family is dedicated to making the best cheeses in the world. We thank our great dairy farming families in Wisconsin for sharing the premium milk with our expert cheesemakers since 1939. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the package here and uh, get this cheese out. Then I'll show you what beer that I'm bringing. That's the other reason why I didn't open the package yet, because this is an easier to open package versus some of them are like sealed so tightly. It's like you can't even open the package. Like you have to use a knife. You can't open the package without cutting into the cheese already. But there you go. I mean, it looks like a big bar of soap. It's white cheddar. Um, it seems to have some aromas coming off of it. It's a little sweaty. Just a little sweaty. Um, this ready it's nice i will cut this up um as beer man's chit chat but yeah it's got some nice uh nice aromas coming off of it once again i do have a little bit of like a congestion thing starting to happen i don't know it sucks oh, that's uh, nice. i didn't know what beer like i didn't sometimes like i pick out like i know what cheese i have and then i go and i pick out a beer or i know what beers i have and i try to pick it and I just didn't do that. So I just kind of looked through my fridge of what I picked up from beers uh, to match up with a farmhouse cheddar. Uh, I've never had this beer before or anything from this brewery, so I don't know what to expect. Um, but it is a double IPA with New Zealand hops. Um, I think. I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> uh, I, they're out of the twelve percent project. That's all I know. Uh, ingredients are water, malted barley, oats, Nelson Sauvignon hops, and yeast. The zeal is defined as possessing great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of an object. The zeal is also the name chosen for our unfiltered double IPA. Okay, so the name of the brew. I'm, uh, the name of the beer is called Zeal, 
And I didn't know if the brewery was called Zeal. Um, all right, so double IPA exclusively with Nelson Saab and hops grown in free, grown at Freestyle Hops. Okay, so it's not Freestyle Brewing, which is down here. And this is Freestyle Hops. So uh, the hops are grown at Freestyle Hops mm. uh, in New Zealand. Uh, while not listed as an ingredient, we can assure you this beer was brewed with zeal. Uh, Erdith or er, 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 Erdita. Okay, so Erdita is the name of the brewery. Oh, okay. there we go. It's got this, yeah, it's got this little like bird like figure. Like almost looks like its wings, like it's like almost like Native American, like cave stuff. I don't know. Like it's got its wings, like going this way. That's the way I see the picture, anyways. You might see it differently. Um, but it says, Erdita is the Italian translation of the word legacy, coming from an Italian American family. Honoring our, and I'm reading this for the first time. I just picked this beer up because I'd never seen it before. So I don't know anything <laughs> about it. Our her heritage is as much about the past as it is the future. Erdita is the actualization of teachings instilled within us through life experiences, self cultivation, and most importantly, the values bestowed upon us by our family and friends. Embrace the past, transform the future, Papa Papalo. Um, it's it says owl approves, hmm. and then it says twenty four zero three one. So I think it's the thirty first day into 2024 i think it's doing one of those things hmm. it could be or it could be 3 1 2024 yeah i don't know it's my first time seeing this uh brewery though and let's go ahead and crack the can i think we i think we filled up some, some time there <laughs> yeah please please be delicious <laughs> Please be delicious. <laughs> I have that. Yeah, of course, with a nice, like, very white, sudsy head. Um, the color of the beer itself is that melted lemon lollipop. It's milky, uh, murky, opaque. Can't see through it. There is a lot of, like, green chunks that are not showing up, so I look like a liar. You can kind of see them in the bottom of the reservoir now. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah, you can see one floating down there now. Um I'm not sure if that's like hop resin and yeast. But yeah, this stuff's got stuff in it. It's got stuff in it. It's kind of green and white. I mean, the white's more than likely yeast, but the green is possibly some hop hop material. So nice. Cool, man. Little vitamin B for you. D, whatever it is. Cool. Well, cheers, Bumpy. Cheers. Go ahead and uh, bring me up. Uh, cheers to everyone in the chat, man. I'm glad you got that beer, Rod. Uh, Bill, uh, let me know today that you got it. So that um, that's really nice of uh, Bill to send you one of the Westies. Uh, hopefully you like that. Um, and cheers to uh, Kettleheads, Bill, um, and uh, uh, Burley, Burley, man. Cheers, man. Yeah, cool. Thanks for uh, – God, if I could only talk right now. Thanks for showing up and uh, – Showing a little love and support. Hell yeah. All right. So um, beer and cheese. All right. So the uh, beer I got was a very interesting one from Deschutes Brewery. Um, Deschutes. <laughs> uh, $4.50 for this bottle. It's a 12-ounce bottle. It's new. I keep thinking I'm not supposed to show my ABV. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a barrel-aged fresh squeeze. It's the fresh squeeze. Uh, I think it's the fresh hop one. So you remember the fresh squeezed uh, IPA they have? It's like a fresh hop uh, Westie. This one's their barrel aged fresh squeeze, old fashioned, and it was um, 
inspired by our citrusy fresh squeeze this hop forward all gets a, a, an old fashioned twist with sweet orange peel and bourbon barrel aging. Fucking crazy. Yeah. 10.7%. It's a biggie. So it's a, a triple. Um, good Lord. Package on 3724. Let's go ahead and open this up. Really fresh. Oh, that's totally West, West. Westy forward. That's got a huge head. Jesus. So, yeah, I mean, it's got a nice uh, kind of a, I guess you can call it a khaki head. And um, very dark, very northwesty looking. Very caramely and um, almost orange in appearance as well as the head. So that's kind of interesting. Clear beer. Can't wait to get into that. Wow, that smells fucking weird. All right, so uh, the one I'm, what I'm going to have with this, hold on, my glasses are falling off on me, Ugh. is uh, I better not wipe my hands, actually. I just touched it. Um, it has peppers. So this is a ghost pepper uh, Monterey Jack cheese with jalapeno, habanero, and ghost peppers. And uh, it's from Hoff Hoffman's Natural Cheese. It's about $6 for this block. And um, these guys are out of... Uh, Oh, Wyawega, Wisconsin. Why you Wyawega, Wisconsin? Yeah, that's what it looks like. A lot of little pieces of peppers in there. Smells nice. Smells good, actually. It's a softer cheese too, but we'll get into that. Let's go ahead and um start this back up. Yeah, nice dark color. Nice dark. Northwesty kind of uh, appeal to it or look to it, whatever. Uh, yeah. So um, let's get bumpy up here. Let's do that. Start the show with our reviews. Oh, yeah. Did, did you say your cheese is ghost pepper? Ghost pepper um, with with mainly ghost pepper, but with jalapeno and habanero peppers. So it's a, it's a yeah. Okay. Three. three different peppers. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I saw a ghost pepper cheese. Uh, I was going to pick it up, and I didn't pick it up, and I haven't seen it since. So, yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. We'll see how you like that one. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the aromas. Um, it's Nelson Sauvin, so, I mean, my brain wants me to just go the easy route and say, oh, I smell grapes and wine. Um, first thing I noticed was dank. I noticed a little bit of a dank. There is a fruitiness to it, which I mean, I could say, you know, it, it definitely kind of leans towards like a white or like white grapes, green grapes, whatever they are. The uh, the more bitter grape, not a not a red or purple grape. A little bit of sweetness. It may be attributed from the. Uh, malt but yeah first first whiff was kind of like a little slight dankness so dank grape sweet malt it's about it not uh it's not too much but uh it's not anything that's uh unpleasant about the aromas uh abv on this is 8.2 percent i believe I think I said that earlier. No, eight percent. It is eight percent. Nice. There's another bear is looking at that was eight point two. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. It's got one of those like super soft, very fluffy, cloud like palettes to it. It's a floaty, floaty beer. Mm. It almost seems like a lower side carbonation, but it's like a moderate carbonation. 
the body's medium, but it just it doesn't stay on the palate. So it almost like it, it's like a hot air balloon. It's like the hot air balloon weighs what the hot air balloon weighs, which has got a half to it, but then it's got that float. So even though it still weighs the same, it's lifting off. That's kind of what this beer is doing. Um, I'm getting almost like a slight bit of strawberry. There's a malt, like there's a maltiness, but it, it doesn't like scream anything. Um, I'd say I'd say it's more kind of like wheat, maybe a little crackery type note, but that's about it from the malt. Um, slight strawberry note. And a little bit of like, just a little bit of like a white wine. Um, it also has a drying effect, like a wine would do. Like if you, if you drink a wine, it dries off the palate like that. Bitterness on this one, I'd say is mild, moderate. Um, seems to be, it's it's got a little bit of that kind of like wine um impact but then there also seems to be like a slight kind of gr grassy a um type note that goes with the bitterness it's, ew, yeah it's super drying <laughs> i got like a scratchy throat now um so that was kind of what when i saw like what hops were using this plus the bird thing which may be an owl because the owl approves um i figured farmhouse chatter this seems like it might be kind of based off like earthy type stuff um maybe pushing towards farmhouse um especially with the nelson sob and uh, thinking thinking grapes and stuff might go well well with any type of farmhouse type cheese um so that that was my thing let's uh try this cheese now It definitely has a different smell than a lot of uh, cheddars. So it's, it's a funkier, a funkier, grassier milk smell. It almost has like it's a like grassy, woodsy. With a, it has it definitely is going to have a little bit of a bite. You can smell that. It's almost like there's a slight sourness to it. All right. Hey. Going up at cheesers. Cheesers. It starts off almost like Swiss. It's got that funky Swissiness to it. This is closer to Swiss than I'd say cheddar. It's kind of, it's got that kind of almost like footy note. There is a little bit of like a champagne pop. Some nuttiness. A little bit woodsy. It doesn't have like a, a real depth to it though. It's a um I mean I can eat keep eating this cheese. It's a flimsy cheddar. I mean it will break, but it's flimsy. There's no crystals in it.
It's got the texture of like goat cheese, but it's not. I don't think, anyway. So it says cow. Yeah, it says cow there or whatever. Mm. I, yeah, I don't think I've had this one from them. No, for the meaning, it's just, it's different. Um, It's good, but it, it it reminds me more of like a, a weirder like uh, Swiss cheese than it does a, the a cheddar. But let's go ahead and eat some more cheese and then drink the beer and see what happens. Cool, man. Chabiers sounds mm. interesting. Yeah. Mm. It brings out like more of the malt out of the out of the beer. Um, it's nice. It makes the beer taste even better. Yeah, it brings out this kind of like almost like fresh, fresh maltiness uh, type note. Um, like the slightly bready the wheat like fresh like wheat type notes and uh it just makes it more lively <laughs> the hops and stuff out of the beer i mean it, it doesn't make it more bitter or anything like that it just it just really kind of enhances what the malt presence is which isn't much when you just drink the beer by itself. Doing it again, I just want to see if there's any other flavors. Yeah. <clears throat> I think the only other thing is that it kind of changes it from being like a white wine to be more a little bit more like a, a grape juicy type no it just kind of enhances that kind of white grape type no um it also seems to kind of uh kill off some of the uh the back end kind of grassiness and stuff like that from the beer on the bitterness all right i'm gonna drink some beer Eat some cheese. All right. Beers chat. What's up? Just clean my palate first. Doing it that way, um, it kind of enhances that champagne flavor from the cheese. Uh, so either way, it kind of it, it does something. Eating the cheese first enhances uh, the maltiness, mostly out of the uh, out of the beer, changing some of the kind of wine notes to more like fresh grape. Uh, eating the cheese after drinking the beer just enhances the uh, champagne type note out of the cheese. So, either way works um, works okay, and uh, yeah, Blah. yeah, <laughs> there you oh, go. Wow. Cool, man. Yeah. Well, cheers, Bumpy. Yeah, uh, we'll, get, we'll get back to everything else uh, after Beer Man here, but uh, I can tell you, I'm not disappointed tonight, so that's good. Cool. That's a good thing. Yeah. All right, man. Cheers, Bumpy. I'm going to bring myself up. Boy, I'm gassy right now. Woo. Okay. I also need to get some kind of like palate thing. Let me get some water in my mouth. I was drinking a West. Or, uh, yeah, West. Okay. 
So this is a uh, what they call the old fashioned. It's from the fresh squeezed um, IPA that Deschutes does. Uh, it's a big one at ten point seven. So a triple, triple. You can call it a double. Um, a strong beer. <laughs> um but yeah so it's got sweet orange peel and you can really get that sweet orange in there like i'm really getting that whiff but this is what it looks like again so a nice uh i'd say it looks like a red or something like that like a nice red ale um or a northwest style ipa it's keeping a nice retention head retention for the 107 that it is um, nice and malty looking head. It poured out about a finger and it's tan. It's like a tannish khaki, almost like a slight orange hue to it. Um, it's clear beer, but it does have a chill haze. You can see my hand and all that. It's almost like looking brown in a way, um, but you can definitely see that orange reddish kind of uh, glare glow. The uh, carbonation from the eye, looking at it, it's uh, got a medium, medium fast rising bubble. So a fairly good carbonation, it looks like. All right, let's uh, go on to the nose. Nosers. Nosers. So you get a big whiff of the sweet orange peels. Really nice. Mixed in with... Um, it smells kind of like the cocktail. It kind of does, like an old fashioned or something. It's it's like a hoppy cocktail, almost like a barley wine in a way, like a, a West Coast barley wine. I would almost call this a barley wine, to be honest. Um, it's got that thickness, the let's, let's say richness in the no in the in the aromas. It's very rich smelling. Definitely has uh, the, I think it's the bourbon, yeah, bourbon, or barrel age, I think it was bourbon. Uh, bourbon, yeah, bourbon barrels. It definitely has, like, I wouldn't say I'm getting, like, a vanilla or anything like that. Sometimes you get vanilla, but uh, I don't, I just, I get um, more of, like, that woody kind of uh, touch to it in the nose with the orange. And then you're getting the caramels, you're getting a little caramel toffee. Um, and then the hops start to kind of uh, blend in there real subtly, but it's there. Yeah. Cool. Let us drink this fucking beer. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, man. God, that's weird. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, it tastes like, a, like an American barley wine. With a sweet orange peel for sure, and then you're getting in the in the in the taste you're getting that kind of uh, bourbonish like bourbon like wood uh, vanilla like thing that's coming through, and um, it's kind of like woody and um, earthy kind of, but then you got that sweet orange that's going right through it, that real nice citrus, and they have got to have put some kind of orange flavored hops or something because it's like really blending perfectly with it there's no um there might be a little pine in the finish slight piney um it kind of is a split between an american barley and a and a, a very strong northwest ipa um it's just got that feeling the body is uh medium full full medium medium full whatever however you said it um and then the mouthfeel is uh it's somewhat soft. It's got a little carbonation, but it's a little more on the softer side. Um, I probably should have let this sit out a little longer, get a little more, uh, a little more uh, room temp, um, just because I think the flavors would have popped a little more even. But it goes down so smooth, and it's like really good with that orange. I really like the orange. It's freaking phenomenal. It's got a nice uh, dry. Kind of a dry um, dryness starts to happen. A little mineral quality in the water um, and a dryness in the back. So it doesn't stay. It's not really cloying, though. It's not sweet, but it does have a little sweetness. There's bitter, though, more on the finish. 
and no alcohol. I'm not getting any alcohol burn whatsoever. Very smooth. Fuck, man. If this is something anyone could try and fi find, then get it. It's pretty interesting. All right. So we got the uh, ghost pepper uh, Monterey Jack cheese with habanero and uh, jalapenos. So that jalapeno is definitely going to ring. Jalapenos always, they're so hot, <laughs> but they don't last long. I don't know how ghost peppers are. I haven't had a ghost pepper before, but. Uh, ghost peppers are the hottest one. Oh, great. I, I, hey. I don't know, sorry. <laughs> Thank you for scaring me. All uh, right. Ghost pepper, uh, what it does is um, it doesn't seem like it's really hot at first, right? Yeah. And then it sneaks up on you like a ghost. Oh, oh, okay. All right, that's why they call They're it. They're also known as um, jaw, like jaw butt. Jaw butt. Jaw butt? Like Jabba the Hutt? Yeah, it's, it's just like J-A-H-B-U-B-H-U-T-T -T or something like that, yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right. Like you can be a name for it, I don't know. Huh, Okay. I think uh, it's like a science butt. name or something. Yeah, it's, it's like hot butt the morning after. Oh God! Oh, I don't need that. I'm gonna bleed. All right, so uh, let's get into this then. So the uh, so it's got peppers everywhere, as you can see, and uh, it's it's a bendy one. It bends like a diving board and then kind of breaks slowly and easily. Capsation is hottest. Goes a few notches down. But it has some heat. Nice. That's great. You guys are scaring me. All right. So uh, smelling it, it it smells like Monterey Jack. It's got a light saltiness to it, a light cow milky kind of uh, thing. Um, you know, it just smells like a Monterey Jack cheese. But then you got you got all this like conglomeration of peppers to kind of go through in your nose. It's it's not it's actually pretty subtle, but you do get the peppers. But really, just like it's kind of more of a vegetal smell that I'm getting than anything. Um, but I'm sure they put seeds in this too. So there's one right there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, you little fucker. Okay, um, here we go. I'm gonna eat this now. Jesus. Hey, sir. Oh. Oh, shit, that's hot on my tongue, dude. The jalapeno, I think, is what's first. The first one. Oh, man, it's hot. It's hot. Vegetal, though. It's got a, that vegetal kind of um, peppery taste. Yeah, that's part of that's the jalapeno and habanero. With the vegetal. Mm -hmm. Habaneros can have a little bit of fruitiness to them, too. And smoky, right? Are they kind of smoky habaneros? Or did I get the wrong pepper? Yeah, I think that might be ghost. That's chipotle. Chipotle yeah. peppers. Yeah, I think that's the smoky one. Um, <laughs> why are you telling us the beer and cheese? Yeah, my nose is starting to kind of drizzle a little. It's raining up in my sinuses. Um, mm -hmm. But you do get that really nice Monterey Jack cheese kind of uh, flavor there. Um, somewhat, you know, like I said, the nose, a little salty um, and uh, a milky, cow milky kind of cheese. Just real soft, easy to eat and um, take down. The peppers really aren't super strong, but I can see them building up. I, I can see the more I eat of this, the more it's going to start to hurt. Um, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to have to so I can enjoy the beer. Well, I enjoyed it anyway, but. All right, let's go ahead and do a cheese before beer. Yeah, it's it's got the more you eat, the, it's gonna it's gonna layer the heat. Wow, oh, that one I had had that little seed right there, and I totally crunched on it, and that was hot, kind of. <laughs> All right, a good melter cheese for. Uh, Grilled cheese sandwiches or something. Oh, yeah. With honey. Mm. Speaking of honey, this is sweet, like honey. And that went really well over that heat. 
It almost brought out some breadiness in the beer. It cooled my mouth down a little, but it's still kind of hot in my throat. It built up layered, like you said. It started to get a little hotter with that second chew. Um, this didn't really extinguish the fire, but it definitely, that's the sweet came out more in the beer where it wasn't so sweet before. Um, the cheese and the heat and everything kind of like mixed through it. And just this, all I wanted, all I got was this sweetness. Um, and that, and that orange, the orange really pops with this cheese. Oh, man, that's a really good uh, mix, actually. Uh, let's do one more. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. We'll do one more little hey, bite. Go. Do one more cheese before beer. And then we'll do a beer before cheese. Four more I'm cheese good. before beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dry cheese, kind of. It's chewy, but it's got like a dryness to it. Really, really light saltiness. Yeah, sweet comes out more. Um, the barrel, the barrel taste kind of goes away. The woody earthiness kind of goes away a little bit. Um, that's starting to hurt. It's starting to burn a little. Okay, let's uh, find one with some more peppers. Beer before cheese. Cheesers. That oaky, you know, when you have the beer first, you get that. And then the beer, the cheese kind of smothers it. And um, takes the sweetness down. When you do beer before cheese, it takes the sweetness down in the beer. And then kind of, um, so this is a both way. This is a both way. I like this. I like this uh, both si on both sides. Um both both i like this both ways hmm. uh, yeah it's good but it makes you want to drink some more because it's so hot oh my god you can go through that fucking 10.7 really quick with this cheese Whew. that's pretty hot it's not it's not like terrible terrible but it's it's pretty hot not like eating the packing chip <laughs> yeah i wouldn't say i wouldn't go that far i wouldn't go that far um cheers andy all right um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like drowning here in my, you know, in tears and nose dri dripping and stuff, but I did, it loosened it up though a bit. Um, uh, it should intensify a little, I believe. I it. it is, I could kind of get the, the oils from the peppers kind of sticking on my tongue. It's right on the tip, right on the tip of my tongue. It's really burning. Um, <laughs> But a really good beer uh, to mix with that heat. Um, maybe a, a, a cheddar, like a sharp, ch not, not more like a, a medium cheddar. Maybe a sharp cheddar um, with, with the same peppers would be really good, I think, with this beer. I don't know. It's just a thought. But that's that. I'm done. I'm going to go up. Uh, let's, uh, let's get uh, bumpy up here. I can't think right now. It's kind of hot. Uh, I'll bring a bumpy up and get our last thoughts in. Yeah. It's right. you and I. <laughs> I did. Ah, she knows. So, I mean, I've eaten pretty much all this cheese except for a few that fell to the ground that Sadie gulped up. I'm not going to share this cheese with my dogs. They don't need any extra. Um, but, I mean, as far as, like, a cheddar goes, I mean, this one, like I said, it kind of reminded me more of a Swiss than it did a cheddar. Um, it does have some of the kind of farmhousey stuff going on, getting that champagne-y, it's a little grassy type. Uh, but it's not, like, super funky. And it's probably my least favorite soratory cheese. Um I would land it in that kind of like it's very good category, but it's like low and very good. It's not excellent at all. Um, not for my palate. I think some people really like it though. 
but I don't find like cheddar lovers loving it. I'm a very cheddar, if you're a cheddar lover, I think this would just be, especially where they say it's sharp, and this is not sharp. Um, I'd say with the champagne-ness of, of the cheese, it does kind of resemble a little bit of that kind of New York cheddar versus like a Vermont cheddar. But, yeah. And then it's not like super sharp. Um, it's not as like barnyardy, funky as I would like to get get you know down with, but uh, yeah, it, it's got that kind of footy, footy Swiss cheese note to it. That's the kind of the, the most prominent thing out of it, I would say. So oh. I think this is like um, if you're a Swiss cheese lover, I think this is a cheddar that you'd absolutely love. But for me, yeah, I'm kind of like it's 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 very good, but it's not something I would gravitate towards. Um, this beer, which I have just a sip of left, and then I throw some yeast in, in the bottom of the can. Uh, oh. First time having anything from this brewery, um, even though it is brewed by 12% out of North Haven, Connecticut, um, or New Haven, Connecticut. North Haven is no, North Haven. Um, yeah, this is this is a pretty good one. Um, I think this beer alone, uh, the Aridita, 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 um, Brewing Company or whatever they are. Um, yeah, I'd say, I'd say, I, like, out of the stuff that's brewed out of the 12% uh, company there, uh, this one I think beats out talk anything I've had from talks. So, nice. I mean, that's good. And Tox does some weird stuff. They use mushrooms and everything else in their beers sometimes. I mean, they, they do some weird shit. Um, they have lovely can art and everything, but I think this beer alone um, is better than anything I've had from that brewing company out of the 12% project. Uh, it's nice. It, it does kind of have this uh, almost farmhouse-y, you know, like something out of like, like a fox farm. Um, Hill Farmstead type of uh, type. I'm not saying it's as good as either one of those, but it it kind of has that the thing where it's almost like it's 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 like an advanced homebrew uh type thing. It, it's good, but it's really good. Um, and and the the pairing of these two actually worked really well together. Came in this kind of just blindsided. I just kind of was like. What do I have in my fridge? What I want what I want to use like as a as a beer to review with this cheese or what because I had two cheeses. Um and uh yeah, I'm glad that I kind of paired these two together. They worked worked pretty well together. Nice. Awesome, man. That's good, that's good. I wonder why they call it uh cheddar cheddar and it tastes like that's weird how it tastes like goat. Yeah, it tastes a lot like Swiss. Um, Swiss, I mean, sorry. It was kind of, I'm not sure if, if Miss Lance was saying goat, like greatest of all time, um, or if you're saying goat, like goat cheese, but that's kind of the way that I can interpret it because it's squeaky. Um, it does have like this kind of goaty, it's kind of almost like a goat cheese in Swiss. It mm. was just, it was just a bit different. Um, yeah. Yeah, hey, that's not a, exactly uh, what I was looking for, but it worked pretty darn well with the with the beer, anyway. So, fantastic! All right, man, that's always good to hear. If it wasn't your stuff. Oh, it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Important thing. Well, can can condition, uh, what, uh, yeah, can condition, I guess that beer is. So, no, cool. All right. Um, well, cheers to Bumpy, and now I'm gonna we'll go ahead and. Give you my last thoughts. Um, cheers, Cheryl. Cheers, Angie. All right. So uh, the beer is very interesting. It is like I would I would definitely have called this a an American barley wine. Um, I guess you could get away with calling it a barrel aged triple IPA, West Coast IPA, or maybe Northwest. Oh, that fucking hurt. 
just bang my leg on something that didn't feel good. Um, but very good. 10.7%. Didn't get any alcohol whatsoever. Um, a, a fairly viscous beer, kind of thick with some good carbonation and good head retention. Everything, the color, the, the clarity of it, it just had a nice freshness to it. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was a charming beer. It was good. I liked it. It charmed me. Um, something different, if anything. If you like barrel-aged beers, um, this is something to definitely give a try. Uh, try it out if you can find it. I know Deschutes, uh, don't they go, aren't they somewhere else too? Or are they just in uh, Mount Hood? Or uh, not Mount Hood, um, Hood River. Where are they at? They're near me, I know that. Where are you from, people? Well, born in Oregon, so there you go. I forgot where they're from. I think it's Mount Hood or something. Um, but yeah, a lot of people can find uh, Deschutes. Like even you, you can find them sometimes, can't you, Bumpy? Um, no. Oh, okay. I think Ross. I've, I've had um, I've had a beer that was a collaboration. Yeah. Man, thanks with the shoots. Um, I don't. We get. I don't think it's not the shoots. There's one. There's another brewery that starts with D. And they make absolute shit beers. I know what you're talking about. You had a twelve pack of them one time or something. I think or a six or they were like really old. Oh, they made like weird like peppermint like they had like a peppermint stout. Oh yeah, you made the unicorn farts beer with the glitter. You can know what you're talking. About. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Josh. If anybody knows what, what brewery that is, they they suck. Yeah. <laughs> There's, I know, it's on the tip of my tongue. I think I know what you're talking about. Anyway, um, but a very a very good beer. It's, this is very good. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, Rod J knows. There you go. Yeah, oh, Duke. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought I was thinking something no, else. Duke, right. horrible. Oh shit! <laughs> Cheers, uh, Tanner. Oh uh, yeah, guys. My dogs right. all have Duke claws too, and they suck. <laughs> I've never had Duke claw before, actually. Where yeah. they're now? There's another question. Where are they from? <laughs> um, I didn't think they were from Oregon. Um, right Maryland, Duke Long. Oh, Maryland. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so I'd give that like a, a I'd say that's a, I wouldn't go excellent, but it was damn very good, close to excellent. Like it was, it was pretty good. Um, I'd probably like go in the if out of a hundred, I'd probably score like uh maybe a ninety three, ninety four out of a hundred, um <laughs> somewhere in that little area, um. But yeah, very, very good, uh, very good beer. Uh, Maryland, yeah. Uh, I've been through there once before. So the cheese was pretty good. Um, I would have rather had the peppers in a cheddar, but I didn't mind this Monterey Jack. I thought it was pretty good. It would be a great melter for a quesadilla or some kind of tuna melt or something like that. Maybe over, I don't know about over nachos, maybe, I don't know. But um, fairly good cheese, you know. I would probably range that at about a 91 or so out of 100. Um, a, a fairly good beer, a, a very good beer. Um, cheese, I mean, excuse me. Um, I liked it. I thought the cheese before beer and the beer before cheese were both pretty damn good. As far as the pairing, the beer before the cheese before beer um, really took away a lot of the barrel taste and stuff like that. Kind of brought made the beer sweeter, and then um, having the beer before the cheese, um, the the cheese kind of muted the beer and made you want to have another sip. But it but it all kind of blended good. There were good flavors within it, so a very good pairing for sure. And that's all I got to say about that. Um, all right. Well, you know, it's that time where we shout some channels out, our own channel and some other people if you want. Um, feel free to shout out however many people you want because it's just you and I. So let me turn off my banner here real quick. 
and get to that. So, cheers to everyone in the chat. It is very cool having people here to watch us talk about beer and cheese. <laughs> All right. And also trying to stay healthy and drinking water. Oh, there you go. All right. I got all the dogs staring at me. I'm going to move my knife, my cutting board. Here. There you go. See, you run away. Um, Cheers, Tanner. All right. It's always good to try to shout out another channel. Um, so you guys all know Tanner already. Um, so this is going to be a segue into into my own channel uh, from East Coast LQ Reviews. Go check him out. Uh, he puts out both beer reviews, puts out whiskey reviews, any liquor, basically. He's been doing some uh, tequilas as well. Um, he started homebrewing recently, uh, so looking forward to, to having some of his homebrew, and uh, he's just enthusiastic in that, and that's, that's great to see uh, any homebrewer getting uh, that, that little home, that homebrew bug bite, you know what I mean? Um, Bear man so knows what I'm talking about. Uh, so... Yeah, shout out to, to East Coast LQ Reviews. Uh, check them out. If you haven't, uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's already subscribed to him. Uh, but just make sure that you are checking in on, on what he's putting out as content, uh, watching him up, and uh, shout him out as well. Um, share, his, share his stuff. And uh, cheers. And with that, uh, there's going to be a video coming out tomorrow. That I just edited and have it set up to come out tomorrow of um, the night that Tanner and I were here alone before everybody else showed up on Wednesday. That would be Turtle Man and, and John and Nelly. Uh, we did this beer. This is the uh, horse beer. And uh, that's the video that's going to be coming out tomorrow. So check that one out. I do some beer reviews on my channel, uh, bumpy bumpyisms. Um, I also do some frozen pizza reviews. Uh, I have some other frozen pizza videos that I've already recorded. I still have to edit, put them out. I try to put them out like once a week or so if I can. Um, and then I also do some cooking videos. I dropped one today. I mean, it looked like vomit, so I can understand why not many people wanted to watch it. But it was a, it was an egg scramble out in the out in the Blackstone. Oh, um, I saw it. I need to look at that. Yeah, it tasted a lot better. It tasted a lot better than what it looked like. I also did some home fries uh, at the same time out in the Blackstone. Those things were like potato chip crispy. Um, because that's the way my life my wife likes them. I like them to be a little bit more like still like potato. I like like I like I like French fries and tater tots, but yeah, yeah my wife likes things burnt for some reason. Um, so let me get these dogs out real quick. I'm staring uh, at you. <laughs> I'll tell you some stuff. Hey, get out! Get out! All right, that's Sadie for you. Um, yeah, I'll show you a couple of my uh, pizzas I might have eventually coming up. Um, just real quick, because I don't want to take too much time here. I mean, I haven't, I haven't even cooked these yet. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But... All right. Does everybody know the uh, the movie that had Julia Roberts, Julia Roberts in it? It's called Mystic Pizza. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. So this is their pizza, but it's the frozen. Mystic Pizza. So I got one of those, a slice of a uh, slice of heaven. That's uh, in the movie as well. Uh, the wife and I actually went to Mystic Pizza. I believe it's in Connecticut. Um, is where they're out of. But this is their their cheese. 
Uh, we went there and we had um, a slice of something. It was pretty good. Uh, it's obviously kind of a crowded area because it it bring you know from the movie and everything kind of made it really popular. Uh, so hard to find parking, uh, but yeah, it's a nice little pizza joint there in Connecticut. Uh, and here's a, another pizza that, that I'm going to do eventually. This one, because you know how I do it. I eat the whole fucking pie. Yeah, wait until you see this pizza. <laughs> here's another one I'm going to have coming up. And this one's Wild Mike's Ultimate Pizza. Over two and a half pounds. Jesus, man. Pizza. I mean, this is a gigantic frozen pizza. Uh, and it's, it's you know, thicker kind of uh, box to it, too. Um, and you get Wild Mike's, you get some seasoning packs you can add. So a couple of them oh, seasoning packs. Yeah. yeah. So. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to eating this one. I'm going to make sure that it's on a night that I haven't had a lot to eat already. Um, but, yeah, those are some things that will be coming up. So, look forward to it. Cheers. Nice, man. Cheers. That's cool. I got to play catch up with your channel, dude. I got to play catch up with everyone's channel. Oh, my God. Um, cheers to Wayne. Cheers, Isle of Fire, man. And Roomsy Boomsy, cheers to you. Um, heck, yeah. All right, so uh, Bill Beerhounds, he uh, sent a couple, um, well, one one to one person, one to another, one to Greg's beer reviews. Surprised me with this. I sent him six because he was a tribute, and uh, he went and uh, sent a couple out to some well-known reviewers, um, and I'm very happy that he did that. Yeah, he sent the West Coast. He said, uh, Babu to Greg's Beer Reviews and to Rod J Beer Adventures. Rod J, um, if you're still here, yeah, I'm glad you're uh, I'm glad you're able to try that. Um, hopefully it's not terrible. <laughs> but uh, um, definitely some improvements I could do with it uh, in the future. So, but uh, not a bad, not a bad drinker. So hopefully you like it. Um I hopefully Greg will do it on his channel. We'll do the review. Usually he does uh, regular, like, you know, pro breweries and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, dude, Rod. Yeah, I hope you like it. <laughs> um, definitely not a – you can't not drink it, you know. It's not terrible. You're not spitting it out. But, uh, yeah, so I wanted to shout out those two guys. Um, I drank it. I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> so the last uh, the last video review that Greg's Beer Reviews did was Three Weavers Brewing Covela IPA in his beautiful, awesome glass that he always does reviews in. And the last uh, video review or video that Rod J did was the National Beer Day and a quick summary of why we have it. Uh, I like that. I'm going to have to go check that out. And then he did Big Truck Half Cab Hazy Blood Orange Beer Review. Very nice. I've heard of those guys. I've heard of those guys. Yeah, you're putting out some great beers there. Damn, I need to catch up, <laughs> but um, or do something about it. But yeah, I want to shout those two out, and um, uh, just due, due to the fact that they got the beer too. Uh, I'm really happy that you guys got it, and thank you, beer man or beer hounds. Um, and I wanted to say one thing. Um, man, beer and cheese has been going for four years pushing five. So we've been doing this for quite some time. The first one I did, I think was with uh, miscellaneous uh, brew reviews. And then I, I asked, but well, I thought we both did it, but maybe I could be wrong. Um, I just saw miscellaneous on there when I hovered over the thing. So maybe you came on late after a little bit later or something. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I was on the, on the very first one or first, the second one. Might have been the second one, yeah, or something, yeah. But that, I mean, that four years, I mean, Jesus, that's yeah. Shit's I mean, I'm, I'm ready to give birth to cheese already for Christ's sakes. I know, we're like, dude, that's like a four year degree, dude, in cheese and beer pairings. All right, but uh, <laughs> I've got um, as far as my channel goes, uh, beer cheese Tuesday, of course. Uh, next week will be an open, uh, open alcohol table with cheese, of course, just bring cheese and any alcohol. 
any uh, wine, beer, liquor, whatever you want to bring, mixed drink, um, seltzer, whatever, like alcohol, seltzers, whatever you want to do. Um, well, that's it. And then uh, we've got uh, well, um, All Spun Out, which we'll be doing tomorrow at 6 o'clock Eastern. And that's where we spin a wheel at the end, and you get three adjectives. You go find a beer based on at least two of them if you can. And um, sometimes one is the only one you can really find a beer on, one of the words. But we also do an ABV game, and at the end of the month, you, uh, you'll you win something, whether it's a shirt or a mug, glass mug, or something I send you. Um, so it's, it's all fun times. Um, keeps people coming back as well because um, they've got those three adjectives and you know, they got to go find a beer and all that shit. Um, oh, is there anything else? I've got uh, the Kolsch Cup. I did a Kolsch also with the last two beers. So I'm, I sent that in. It's more of an Americanized Kolsch. But um, hopefully they, they'll they like it at this Kolsch Cup from uh, Homebrew Happy Hour. Um, it's a uh, podcast I listened to. And I just went ahead and uh, submitted to that and sent them some beers. And that's uh, happening like April, this like in another week. So I think they're going live with it. So I'll let, I'll let some people know in the back end a link that you can watch if you want to see the results. Um, and then uh, I also have the – I just racked the um, black lager, the Schwartz beer, into a keg. It was about maybe 10 gallons in the end. Um, and uh, it's pretty tasty. It's, it's not carbonated, but it – very, very chocolatey and a little rose. Not very – it's got a subtle – it's got a beeriness still, which is really nice. A nice little German touch. So um, I'm, I'm hoping that that will go through. That's going to be going into the AHA competition in uh, April, uh, June 17th. So uh, it's more of a national, a national contest. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't done any beer reviews except for, like, Eric's show or on my shows. So – uh, maybe I need to do some more, but that's about all I have there. Um, yeah, so cool. Dickie, what's up, Dickie, man? All right, dude. And Blue Eyes. Cheers, Blue. Hell yeah, dude. Shout out to Beer Hounds. Hell yeah. Let me bring this up. Um, yeah, yeah, man. You guys rock, dude. It's good to see you guys here. 13,000 strong. Love it. All right, so we're going to get out of here. We want to say thank you, first of all, to the community for showing up and uh, and being here, listening to us discuss some beer and cheese pairings and uh, talk amongst each other and do whatever you do uh, best. So cheers to you guys, and uh, cheers to Bumpy-isms, Mr. Bumpy. Cheers. Um, cheers to you. Thank you for being here as always. And um, you guys take care. Have a good day, night, day, wherever you're in this beautiful world. But not after one more sip of whatever the fuck you have. <laughs> zero, 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 zero. Cheers. That was a gulp. <laughs> All right. We out of here. Bye for now. Come hang out with us after. Oh, here, I'll put up the link if you want to hang out. Yeah, do that. Um. Let me put that up now. There we go. Yeah, come and hang out with us. Okay, we're out of here. Cheers. See ya. Bye for now.